What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is your boy Dr. Yugi Stein once again. I'm coming with a deck profile. Uh, this is my last profile for today. Um, I call this my uh, Psychic Heraldic Beast deck. My Psychic Heraldic Beast deck. Uh, it might be a better name, I'm not sure. Um, but it combines Light Swarms, Heraldic Beasts, and uh, Psychics. Light Swarms for the milling effect. Uh, heretic beasts for for the synchros, um, control the XZs and synchros and so forth, and then uh, psychics for uh, the engine, the actual engine. So this is how it works, and then of course uh, one place where spread a zombie uh, for for control. So this is how the deck works. Um, well, this was in the deck. I just added this new uh, light swarm. Assailant in here, uh, just see what happens. Um, but uh, I know it's not out yet, but they're coming out pretty, uh, pretty soon. So everybody's excited about it. So I had one Raiden, one Lila, one Jane, one Aaron, one Ryko, two Rikos, one Lumina uh, for, and that's that's in the 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 Light Swarm part uh, for the Heretic Beast. Uh, two, two uh, heretic beast ever comrades, one heretic beast Leo, well actually two of them sorry, uh, one heretic beast twin eagle, twin head eagle, two heretic beast unicorns, one heretic beast eel, um, one heretic beast burner's falcon, two heretic beast basilisk. For your psyche engine, you have psyche emperor. We get your life points. Overdrive Teleporter, uh, two Serene Psychic Witch, uh, this is the main part of your engine, one Hush Psychic Cleric, two Psychic Jumpers, one Silent Psychic Wizard, one Cree Bonds. That's the end of your Psychic Engine. And then also you have uh, Place Spreader Zombie, um, and then for your spells, one Lightning Vortex for Field Control, one Dark Core. Uh, Dark Core is excellent against uh, monsters such as uh, Drassel Sack. Uh, you get, you get, they get Drassel Sack can bring all the, all the, all the tokens it wants to, but one hits from this and it's, it goes bye bye. One Solar Recharge for Life Swarm. Uh, charge the Light Brigade for the Life Swarm. Miracle Synchrofusions. If you got two psychics and one is a synchro, one is a synchro psychic, psychic synchro, and the other is a regular psychic. Um, Miracle Fusion will automatically uh, bring out Thought Ultimate Axon Kicker. Uh, two Emergency Teleports. Uh, the Heretic Beast deck has his own uh, Monster Reborn, which is her Re Reborn Herald, Herald the Reborn. And then you have High Medallion Arts, which is another Reborn. So three uh, um, um, uh, Monster Reborns in this deck for the Heretic Beast engine, not including the Heretic Beast themselves. Um, one Royal Decree, one Bright Future. Now this deck is is, is different. The main thing is trying to get uh, Heretic Beast Leo into the deck, and so you constantly recycle stuff that's going on. Um, the extra deck, um, 15 Monsters, Ultimate Exxon Kicker, Hyper Psychic Blaster, Crimson Blader, broken card, Thought Ruler Archfiend, almost another broken card, almost. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, uh, Psychoductor Behemoth, Magical Android, Tempest Magician, Beast God Vulcan, uh, Formula Synchron, uh, Herald Chris, and that's before the, the other one, the anime, the, the Chaos version the anime. I can't wait till it gets out. Uh, Violon the Sigma for stealing. Uh, Utopia for protection. Heretic Beast uh, Genome Heritage. Yes. And Lightning Plover. This deck gets out Chidori like crazy, and Chidori can do some, all kinds of dirty stuff uh, to your opponent. Uh, side deck. I put in a Judgment Dragon because of Light Swarms. A Gragoneth. Uh, another EO, 
another Serene Psycho Witch. Actually, the Psychic Engine is is better with three Psycho Witches, but the deck space, uh, one Garoth, two Time Escapers. Time Escaper really is because uh, this card gets out psychics like crazy. Uh, this deck is out psychics like crazy. But Time Escaper protects your psychics from any effects or attacks because they'll just banish your monster for a turn and then they'll bring then they'll bring it back and it happens during either person's turn. So it's a hand trap. Um, bring my light for the light swarms because uh, brain research lab to bring out psychics even faster. Another emergency teleport card really is broken. Um, miracle synchro fusions, uh, telepathic power, a psy curse, and a psychic reactor. And so uh, it's been five minutes already for this this, but try this deck out. It's interesting, and I'll I'll type it out later on, not maybe later on tonight. Um, but try this deck out. I've won many a game with this. Having your opponent scratch their heads with this deck. Number one, you gain life points with thought rule arch fiends. Uh, number two, you feel control, especially the right holes and so forth. Um, number three, uh, 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 penetration, uh, the ability to, to 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 attack it with piercing damage and gain life points, especially with Ultimate Axon Kicker, um, uh, Monster Summoning Disruption, Crimson Blader, uh, Monster Ability Stealing, Genome and what you call Genome and uh, Coda Heritage Crest and and, and uh, uh, Genome Heritage, and then of course you have your your Almighty uh, Lightning Plover, which is really an underrated card. It targets one set card. Um, not only that, you can attach one exclusive from this card to target one face of card your opponent controls. Return that target to the top of the deck. Lots of disruption with this deck. Just a fun deck to play and different things. And uh, experiment with the deck and see what happens, what you can do with it. it. It can move fast. It can move very, very fast in so many ways. Um, especially once you get your, your Leos out into the graveyard. Very, very fast. And so try it. Your opponent will know what to do with it. Uh, once again, this is my uh, Psychic Heretic Beast deck. Uh, maybe I can find another name for it. So uh, good game, everybody. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for coming to the lab.